right now we're on a main break on Funston in Salina, Kansas. The call came in and I had an employee come in around 6 a.m. He came out to verify that this was a main break. His first priority is to verify it's a main break and then to get a hold of the operator at the water plant to call in an emergency locate. After he's done doing that, his job is to locate the water valves because we want to stop the water from causing any damage. In older areas like where we're at, these, these valves don't operate very well. So he has opened a fire hydrant by Sunset Drive in order to relieve the pressure on the brake so that the brake doesn't damage more of the pipe or the street. So we have relieved the pressure. We are now in the process of setting up traffic control. This is the first thing that we want to get done to keep traffic out of our work zone for the safety of the persons that are driving through it and also for the safety of the employees who have to work on the main brake. So we usually temporarily shut down the, the uh, street and I know that it does cause inconvenience, but it's all about safety for everybody that's involved coming down the street. What we're doing now is he's located where the water main is. And then as you look over here, there's a meter pit and he's gonna mark these services out to the main so we don't rip the services out as we excavate to find the break with the main break. For corrosion control, we use gutter buddies and we put them in the gutter to try to help eliminate all the mud that's running down the gutter line. Unfortunately, when we get called in, especially at night, the main could have been broke for two, three hours before anybody gets out here. So a lot of that already settles down the street. But we're in the process of getting into a better program of putting them out as soon as we can to try to stop any additional mud from going down the street and getting to the storm sewers. We are clear now to start doing the work. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the water main. The guys are going to get out the compressor, the hose, and a star drill, and they're going to star drill a hole and use a prod rod to try to find the water main, and then we'll try to find the leak. You can hear the brakes. You'll get the louder sound. You can kind of see where the brake is or hear it a little better. Right now, this is the only one that has noise on it. So with this being the only one with noise, we have a meter pit over here. So we're getting ready to sound the meter pit to see if we can hear any noise on it. And it'll let us know how close to the service the brake is. With the water main right here where we had prodded, we are going to come over here and we're going to start jackhammering and we're going to jackhammer to make sure uh, probably about a foot, foot and a half on the back side of the main to take the trench line out. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to go five feet on this side of it and over to take everything out as we excavate. Getting ready to excavate right here now to dig up the water main. We're going to take the concrete out. We're going to spin around and put all the spoil behind us, trying to keep it all out of the gutter to keep the debris from going downstream. Down the hole, 
deep enough but still under the OSHA guidelines where we don't need a trench box. The excavation is safe all the way around. There's no debris that can hit him. Okay. He's now underneath the water main and he's getting ready to clean it to put a clamp on. Clamp is on, it's tight. Now we're gonna start opening the valves or lead it through the fire hydrant. Even though we didn't lose pressure, when we open valves, it causes dirty water. So we wanna open a hydrant and flush the main out. That way no one complains or has a lot of dirty water. Well, what happens from here is we're gonna to continue to pump the water out because it's coming down from the hydrant. We have pushed the dirt over to one side so that if it rains, the gutter will only be one gutter affected by the mud. We have gutter buddy out that will stop it from going down the gutter line. Then we'll turn this over to the street department. They will come out and clean up the excavation and put flow fill in the hole. And that will harden like a concrete. And then they'll put concrete over the top of it. So we greatly appreciate what they do for us by helping us, you know, get the, getting the, street all cleaned up, getting it put back in for the customers of Slider. <laughs> 